In the White Lake area, the football game between Montague and Whitehall takes on special meaning for many reasons, including that beautiful bell that annually goes to the winner. Rhea Thornton took in the most recent battle between the Vikings and Wildcats. Jason, the rivalry atmosphere was electric here in Montague tonight with that bell up for grabs once again. Whitehall came out scoring on their first drive of the game, a three-yard touchdown run by the senior quarterback Kyle Stratton giving the Vikings the 7-0 lead in the first. Fast forward to the end of the second quarter. Stratton makes a big play again, this time on defense. A little tip drill action there. Nice focus to make the catch. He gets the pick six to put the Vikings up three scores going into halftime. But just when you thought that kid couldn't do more in the third quarter on fourth down, Stratton scrambles and finds Trenton Tenbrock in the end zone for the score to make it 28-0. Whitehall. Whitehall went on to win tonight 35 to 8 over Montague, giving the Vikings the right to hoist that bell in celebration once again. It's a mentality I Whitehall to play against Montague a certain way. Um, I mean, don't lose Montague. That's how we roll. That's how we roll, and we, we did it tonight. The rest of my life now, I'll never lose Montague in football again. So uh, um, it means everything to our team. Everything to me, and uh, hopefully we just keep going now. I'm so happy with our defense right now. They played fantastic. You know, we've played two spread teams, and we have two shutouts right now. So I think that's a really big deal for us and what we hope that we can accomplish, you know, moving forward. Uh, we know that we have a lot of physical football left to play on our schedule, though, with, uh, you know, really with Manistee, and then we just we jump right into Oak Ridge, too. So we got to go ahead and we got to, you know, heal up and then get ready to go. A total team effort in tonight's game. Five touchdowns for Whitehall, three offensive and two defensive. It's what both coach and Stratton said after the game gave Whitehall the upper hand in tonight's win. This marks three years of the Vikings taking home the bell. So another 365 days to look at that trophy and remember tonight's shutout. Up next, Whitehall will look to remain unbeaten as they take on a tough Manistee team. And Montague will look to bounce back as they take on Ludington. Reporting in Montague for Fox 17's The Blitz, I'm Rhea Thornton.